I welcome you all for the bilingual e-lecture for diploma students. My subject is microcontroller. In this lecture 1, we are going to see about architecture and the instruction set of 8051. Before going to microcontroller, let us see about the microprocessor. Microcontroller ka pora the kumunadi, nama microprocessor na yenna abdinta the pati Microprocessor, four semester uh, digital electronics la padichirupinga. Microprocessor is the CPU of a computer. Right, nama school education liyum padichirupong the pati. Microprocessor is the brain of a computer. In the microprocessor yenna pano abdina, kudukra inputs alam wangi according to the given instruction. Enna instruction adhika nama kudutrukamo, adha badi process panni, output ta namakka kudukam. Namakka thayavyana format la output kudukka kudukam microbus. That is the brain, brain of a computer. So, the microprocessor is a device, in rather, it's a standalone device. Either RAM, ROM, input, timer, or all me, thani thani adha namai thikka kudutakano. Designer, Enna nani kranglo, evlo memory tayo padde, ellame aunga design panikla, row mode size anna, ram mode size anna, I/O ports, idh ellame vande designer tanak tayo na lavo ko mudi panikla. So adhanala idh vande inexpensive aagdi. Enna it's a general purpose system, idh ke nareya devices tayo padde. So input taniya nama kurtaagno, ram taniya kurtaagno, rom taniya kurtaagno, idh ellame tanit taniya kurtaar adhanala idh orda cost ho adhi ko magde, because idh nareya applications ke nama ke pain padde. This is power consumption of the power 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 the power of 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 CPU, RAM, ROM, I.O., Timer on a single chip. So, fixed amount of on-chip ROM and the RAM and I.O. ports designed. 8051 is on-chip ROM 4K size. RAM is 128 byte. Otherwise, we can say in some cases it is 256 bytes available. So, 4 number of I.O. ports. Are applications, cost, Power consumption. This is the main concept of the important concept of the microcontroller. The microcontroller is more useful. This is the microcontroller is a single purpose device. One specific application. If you have, for example, a washing machine, you can see the latest washing machine. If you have a washing machine, you uh, 15 minutes forward direction. La, rotate agon, then more 15 minutes karche, reverse direction la rotate agon. in the render rotation of mudche and the water uh, release pandra de. so in the all me vande can be it can be programmed by a microcontroller so we can say the microcontroller is a simple purpose that is single purpose dedicated device and the or purpose ka mattuna adu vande namakku apply pandrom suppose and the microcontroller nama vera purpose ka apply pananom abdi nanachona we can change the program and we can use it in anywhere right it's a uh, now latest technology flash memory in the mari devices la namakku available irukadanal we can erase the uh, data uh, that is already stored in microcontroller and we can reprogram it right microcontroller a specific uh, Character na, the bit level operations design So or particular register at the day, or bit and the bit or value of the math that is 0 or the 1 hour, 1 or the 0 hour, and the madriana bit level operations available. Nala, the programming structure will be very, very easy. Then we can uh, program it to any level. Right? Power consumption is very low. Power consumption one only just plus 5 volt DC supply. Instructions, high level instruction, 111 instructions. So, bit level programming is very strong. So, generally, we are using 8 bit or 16 bit microcontroller. 8 bit or 16 bit have been 8 bit, 16 bit entered at a time microcontroller all in the size of data have handle panamudi the have been 8 bit. Uh, Microcontroller means 
it can uh, add or multiply a uh, 8 bit data at a time. Uh, 16 bit means it can multiply and add two different uh, uh, 16 bit datas. Now, we are going specifically into 8051. What are the futures of 8051? It consists of 4K of internal ROM. What is ROM? ROM is a read only memory. Read only memory is generally used to store the programs. What are the programs which are going to install or store in a microcontroller is stored into the ROM structure. So, in a 8051 IC, it consists of an inbuilt of 4K bytes of internal, right? 128 bytes of RAM. RAM is the random access memory used to, to store the data at the time of programming. Program data, temporary data. Suppose we are adding two datas. The first data is moved into a particular memory location, then it will be added with the second, then the data is stored in temporarily in a register. These data are stored in RAM. So, the data, first data, second data, the result of the program all are temporarily stored in the RAM location. Right. It consists of 4 8 bit IO ports. Ports. What is ports? Port. In the word, we generally use it. Generally, port is used in the and the couple is shared. We are using the port, the word port in airport also. Port is used in different media to connect to the area. So, port in it is a waterway and the landway. These two things connect to the Like that, airport is airway and the landway. These two things connect to the point. So, in that way, we different media to connect to the area. We are using the word port. Like that, in microcontroller, we are having four different ports. What are the uses of ports? So, just like that, it used to connect two different uh, medium. In microcontroller, it is used to, to connect microcontroller with external devices. The external devices which are going to be connected with the microcontroller should be connected via port. And then the device allah microcontroller order nama connect pannon on and the devices allah me nama port order na connect pannon. So, and the mari connect pannon we are having 4 8 bit ports. Then we have 2 16 bit timers. The timers pati pinadi detail da nama pakla. We have two uh, timers, it can be used as timer as well as counter that will be explained in the following sessions. Then we have a one serial interface. Serial interface is used to connect the device as well as printer like that. So, the data serial is transfer and transfer and use the serial interface. This is the block diagram of the 8051 microcontroller. The 8051 microcontroller as I already told number microcontroller 8051 kula we have memory devices memory devices this is rom rom 4k internal programmable memory program memory this is 120 byte uh, 28 bytes of ram for storing temporary data then we have timers serial port four io ports bus control then oscillator. Then we have external interrupts also. So, let us see one by one, right, in which we are going to see the components one by one, right. This is the architectural diagram of uh, 8051. Here we can see what are the blocks available. So, in this following session, I will explain one by one. The microcontroller 8051 consist of several registers. First, what is a register? A register is a part of microcontroller which can store data, right? It can store information. Right? Microcontroller deals with binary digits 0 and 1s. So, the digits can be stored in the registers. Registers are nothing but flip flaps. The flip flaps can be used to, to store either 1 or 0, right? In this registers, the accumulator is the most important register. The accumulator consists of, it is an 8 bit register. Accumulator is an 8 bit register, it can store a data, okay, 8 bit data, it can store an 8 bit data, right. 
So accumulator, the major function of accumulator is three important functions. Model function n abdina. It can store one of the data for every arithmetic and the logical operations. So in the arithmetic operation or logical operation or abdina, one data can be accumulator la That is the importance of accumulator. You can you can feel the importance of accumulator in this function, right? That is the data we add data a that is 5 and 6. This is the data we add to add to the data. One data is 5 and the second data is 5 and the register. This right? is the first major function of the accumulator. Accumulator, right. Second major function. In every arithmetic and logical operations, the result or result only I suppose we are adding 5 and 6 the result will be something that is 11 11 hexadecimal the 11 will be 0 b right the data is directly stored into accumulator right so the first major function is it should hold one of the data for the arithmetic and logical operation the arithmetic and logical operations pannumbodu ore data compulsory accumulator then the second major function is the result. Or arithmetic and logical function put into check. Abdi na, that result directa poita accumulator la. That way automatic store ida. Default a is a microcontroller ida. Designing and the mother. Right. The, the third data function. The, the third major function of the accumulator is the data transferred out of microcontroller and the data coming inside the microcontroller should be travel through A. That is, if you have data, well, computer, that is microcontroller with the external device, that is connect to the external device. We have to store the data into accumulator, then from the accumulator only, it will be transmitted to the external device. As well as the external device, the data microcontroller that will be first transferred to the ports, then it will be transferred to the accumulator. So, the gateway microcontroller or the gateway so accumulator is the device which can function the three major functions one is it should hold one of the data and the result is already that is results will be stored in accumulator then the external transfer is processed via accumulator only the internal ram address of uh, accumulator is e0 internal RAM address it can be it has an address accumulator or address and the address are used we can access the accumulator that is accumulator data was stored the data was and the address access so it is a bit and byte addressable bit and byte addressable this is the structure of accumulator it is an 8 bit register so address is E0 for the total 8 bits the address is E0 each and every bit can be addressed this is 0th bit first bit second and up to 8th bit so each and every bit has also an address E0 E1 E2 E3 up to E7 so we can change the entire 8 bit data by moving a data into an accumulator an 8 bit data into an accumulator or we can change a single bit data in the accumulator so it can be bit addressable as well as it can be byte addressable. So, the physical address, the total 8 bit address is E0, each and every bit will be addressed by E0 to E7. The next important register is register B. The register B has a simple function, generally it is uh, used for two major functions, one is multiplication and the division. After that, there is no uh, specific function for uh, register B. In 8085, suppose we are very familiar with uh, 8085, the, there is no multiplication and uh, division commands in uh, 8085 microprocessor. Suppose you uh, multiplication pannano abdina, it will be uh, done by repeated uh, addition as well as division pannano, it will be done by repeated uh, subtraction. But uh, we have a uh, specific info uh, that is instruction for uh, multiplication and the division in 8051 you can see the example suppose 
you have to multiply two different datas. The instruction is multiple m u l a comma b. This is the instruction used to multiply two different datas, right? You can see in the instruction itself. So as I said earlier, accumulator should carry one of the data in every arithmetic and logical instruction. So like that, here we have an accumulator. So it holds the first data. The second data must be placed in B register for multiplication as well as division. The second data that is first data should be in accumulator. The second will be in B register. The results also stored in A and B registers. There is no other register can be used for multiplication other than A and B and the, as well as in um, division. So, the B register is the second data holder in both the multiplication and division, right. It is also having a RAM address. The RAM address of B register is F0. So, it is also a bit and a byte addressable register. So, we can change the total 8 bits using uh, the address F0 or we can change each and every bit of uh, data by changing an, uh, one of the bit that is uh, bit B0 is F0, address of B0 is F0 like that B5 is F5. So, we can uh, use a single data, we can change a single data, single data in any one of the 8 bit of uh, register B. The next will be the third register the third register is PSW. The PSW is nothing but program status word register. The program status word register is one of the most important register. The register is an 8 bit register. It is bit and byte addressable. Suppose we consider a arithmetic operation is goes on or a logical operation is going on. So, any information, any process is going on, the result will affect this register. Right, you will see the structure. The program status word is an 8 bit register, it consists of 8 bits. So, the D0 is the P denotes parity, D2 is overflow, RS1 and RS0, then we have axillary carry, then carry. These two bits are reserved for future purpose, there is no function now. But Pinadi Namo user is other program panicla up in the money the alert panica. Right. The physical address is the address D0 on the D7 working Kutrakanga. Parity of address D0, overflow D2, RS1 and RS0, D3 and D4, axillary carry D5 and the carry is D7. Right. Let us see the function of each and every every bit of a PSW, right. The carry flag, right, we can see the example. So, here we are adding two different datas, right, 0 plus 1, z 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, okay, 1, 0, 1 plus 1, how can we write 1, 0. So, 0, the remaining will be 1, that is right. If this type of function is happens that is we have a carry from an arithmetic operation or a logical operation it will be stored in C that is the C will be set the C will be set if there is a carry otherwise it will be in 0 that is in the reset condition. Can you understand? So, if an arithmetic operation is performed or arithmetic operation mudunjirukku adoda 8th bit kapparam or data namakku kedachirukku abdina carry set ago, otherwise carry namakku set agad. That is next is axillary carry, axillary carry, carry madri eda, anga 8th bit that is the last bit la namakku carry vandudu na carry flag set ago, otherwise set agad. Idhila first nibble, 8 bit data la in the lowest path, idha one nibble, 4 bit to send the one nibble solvo, adhi me aadatta 4 bit send the the next nibble, 2 nibbles forms a byte. So, the first nibble to second nibble if there is a carry, if the first nibble suppose see this example 0 plus 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 0. So, 0, 1. So, there is a carry from first nibble to second nibble. Then 
the axillary carry will set. If there is no carry from uh, first nibble to second nibble, the axillary will not set. Like that, the overflow flag. Overflow flag set when there is a bit from this seventh bit to the eighth bit. If the bit is comes, the overflow flag will set, otherwise it will not set. So, is it clear? So, the functions depends upon the arithmetic and logical functions results. The flags of PSW, right, the depends upon the results of the function, results of the arithmetic and logical function, the uh, PSW status word register will affects, otherwise there is no change, right. PSW registers, the next two important uh, pins are RS1 and RS0. This RS1 and RS0 is used to select the bank register which is available in internal RAM. We have four different bank registers, bank 0, bank 1, bank 2 and bank 3 that will be selected by these two pins. It will be clearly explained in the following session. So, whenever we are having 0, 0 in RS1 and RS0, the bank 0 will be selected. If it is 0, 1, the bank 1 will be selected. It is 1, 0, bank 2, 1, 1, bank 3. So, this will be detailed explained in the following sessions. Next, we are coming to the very important uh, cons uh, aspect of uh, microcontroller 8051. 80 microcontroller consists of two different memory, two types of memories. That is, one is for uh, program storage, the other one is for data storage, right. The program memory is generally ROM, that is ROM, random access memory. The data memory is generally yeah, RAM that is random access memory. That is the program memory is used to store the programs which are uh, performed by the microcontroller going to be executed by the microcontroller. The data memory is used to store the data so as I already store uh, that is stated that the data memory is used to store the data which are used in the process that is process narandukittirukkum bodu namakku theva padra data la anga store aayitirukku nu sonna so idella store pandrathu indha maadhiriyana data store pandrathu nama data memory nu solrom right next the data memory the data memory data memory so already na sonna maadhiriye temporary temporary data and intermediate results appo and the program la nadula nadula namakku kedaikira andha chinna chinna results indha maadhiriyana results store pandrathukku na indha data memory use pandrom so generally 8051 la 128 bytes of uh, 128 bytes of internal ram kuduthirukanga 128 bytes undradhu you consider it's an 8 bit shelf one byte it's a shelf so like that it is a shelf 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 so totally we have 128 racks so 128 data can be stored then in the ram that is right some in some special cases we are also having some special cases we are also having 250 byte, 256 bytes of RAM, 256, another 128 byte is added that is for uh, special function registers, the special function registers will be explained in detail, right, this is the structure of uh, data memory, right, this is first uh, 128 bytes, the first 128 bytes from 0, 0 to 7 of addressed 128 shelves for uh, temporary data storage as well as the intermediate result storage. Next we are having another 128 bytes of uh, SFRs. The SFRs are uh, special function registers which will be explained uh, in detail in the following sessions. So, so totally it will be 256 bytes. Kilo over 128 byte uh, already we are discussed for uh, storing uh, temporary data, the other for special function registers. So, suppose, if we have the memory 128 bytes plus 128 by 256 bytes of RAM, we can add an another 64 KB of uh, external RAM with the microcontroller. So, this is add to this, access to this, in the following sessions, we have memory organization in the memory organization. So, 256 bytes, we have internal RAM, then we have, if it is necessary, we can add 64 uh, KB of kilobytes of external RAM with the microcontroller. Data structure, that is the data memory or the structure. The structure of data memory is 
ஃபஸ்ட்டு ஒன் டுவெண்ட்டி எயிட் பைட்ஸ் நான் சொன்ன ஏற்கனவே ஃபார் ஸ்டோரிங் டெம்பரரி டேட்டா அந்த ரிசல்ட்ஸ் இன்டர்மீடியட் ரிசல்ட்ஸ் இதை ஸ்டோர் பண்ணுறதுக்காக நம்ம யூஸ் பண்ணிகிட்ருக்கோம் ஸோ இதை மூணு பார்ட்டாக பிரிச்சுருக்காங்க இந்த மூணு பார்ட்டில் ஃபஸ்ட்டு பார்ட் வில் பி த பேங்க் ரெஜிஸ்டர்ஸ் ஸோ நம்ம ஏற்கனவே பிஎஸ்டபிள்யூ ரெஜிஸ்டர்ஸ் பார்க்கும்போது இதை பற்றி டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணோம் பிஎஸ்டபிள்யூ ரெஜிஸ்டரில் வி ஹாவ் ஆர்எஸ் ஒன் அந்த ஆர்எஸ் ஜீரோன்னு ரெண்டு பிட் இருக்குது அப்படின்றது சொன்னோம் அந்த ரெண்டு பிட்டை யூஸ் பண்ணி வி கேன் செலக்ட் த பேங்க் ரெஜிஸ்டர்ஸ் இன் த இன்டர்னல் ரேம் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஏற்கனவே சொன்னோம் ஒரு தடவை பார்க்கலாமா அதை பற்றி திஸ் இஸ் த ப்ரோக்ராம் ஸ்டேட்டஸ் வேர்டில் இருந்த ஆர்எஸ் ஒன் அண்ட் ஆர்எஸ் ஜீரோ பை விச் வி கேன் செலக்ட் பேங்க் ஜீரோ பேங்க் ஒன் பேங்க் டூ பேங்க் த்ரீ திஸ் இஸ் த ஏரியா இன் இன்டர்னல் டேட்டா மெமரி ரைட் ஸோ ஈச் பேங்க் கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் எயிட் ரெஜிஸ்டர்ஸ் நேம்லி ஆர் ஜீரோ டூ ஆர் செவன் ஆர் ஜீரோ ஆர் ஒன் ஆர் டூ ஆர் த்ரீ ஸோ ஈச் பேங்க் ரெஜிஸ்டர் கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் எயிட் ரெஜிஸ்டர்ஸ் ஆர் ஜீரோ டூ ஆர் செவன் லைக் தட் பேங்க் ஒன் ஆல்சோ ஹேவிங் எயிட் ரெஜிஸ்டர்ஸ் தென் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஹேவிங் எயிட் தென் பேங்க் த்ரீ ஆல்சோ ஹேவிங் எயிட் தென் த நெக்ஸ்ட் சிக்ஸ்டீன் ஸோ டோட்டலி எயிட் 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 ஃபோர் இன்ட்டு எயிட் தேர்ட்டி டூ இட் வில் பி தேர்ட்டி டூ பைட்ஸ் ஆஃப் டேட்டா மெமரி இப்போது இந்த செஷன் இதோட முடியுது இந்த செஷனில் இது வரைக்கும் நம்ம என்ன பார்த்தோம் அப்படின்றத ஜஸ்ட் ஒரு கோ த்ரூ பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஸோ ஜஸ்ட் ஸோ மைக்ரோ ப்ராசஸர்னால் என்னென்னு பார்த்தோம் மைக்ரோ ப்ராசர் இஸ் அ சிபியூ ஆஃப் அ கம்ப்யூட்டர் ஸோ இதுக்கு தேவையான ரேம் ரோம் ஐஓ டைமர் எல்லாமே நம்ம தனியாக அதுக்கு கனெக்ட் பண்ணுறோம் ஸோ தட் இது காஸ்ட்லி ஆகுது அதனால் அது ப்ராசஸிங் ஸ்பீடும் கம்மியாக இருக்குது ஸோ ஃபார் அ ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் வி கேன் யூஸ் மைக்ரோ கண்ட்ரோலர் ஸோ அதனால் மைக்ரோ கண்ட்ரோலர் நம்ம என்ன சொல்லலாம் அப்படின்னா it is a computer on a single ic so it can perform everything on its own so adla and the ic ku liye cpu ram rom input type uh, input output ports serial port ellame adla inbuilt panirukanga so idanala idu vandu bit level operations panna mudiyudhu faster performance size chinna da irukku namakku theviyana operations speed up panni mudikka mudiyudhu so adoda architectural diagram paathom the architectural diagram la nama enna na பார்ட்ஸ் இருக்குது அதை பற்றி டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணோம் அக்கோமுலேட்டர் எயிட் பிட் ரெஜிஸ்டர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ரெஜிஸ்டர் தென் பி ரெஜிஸ்டர் தென் அதுக்கப்புறம் பிஎஸ்டபிள்யூ ரெஜிஸ்டர் தென் ஃபைனலி வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் த மெமரி ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஸோ த நெக்ஸ்ட் செக்ஷனில் நம்ம இது இது போக மெமரி இதை பற்றியெல்லாம் டீட்டெயில்டாக பார்க்கலாம் தேங்க்யூ